Now, if you look at the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he used to be saddened by what the people used to say about him. And it used to hurt him only because he was given the task of presenting the truth and he was saddened that they are rejecting the truth. He didn't mind what they said about him actually as a person, but he minded the fact that they did not accept the truth from him. You see the difference. One is his person and one is the message. They said bad, so they rejected the message. That's what made him sad. So Allah says, we know that what they're saying saddens you. Don't worry. We know deep down, they know what you brought is the truth. They are only denying it. We know that it saddens you what they're saying. They're saying all sorts of things, accusing you of things you are totally innocent of, belying the message you brought. Allah says, deep down, they're only denying. They know they're not belying you. They're only denying out of their arrogance. And that's why towards the end of Surah Al-Hijr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses similar words. And he says, he gives a solution. When you and I are faced with people accusing us, with people saying bad things about us, with people falsely saying things about us, and it's really hurting and it's really painful, what should you do? Because it tightens the chest, it causes stress. Stress can give you a heart attack, subhanallah. Allah acknowledges this. We know, O Muhammad وسلم, that your chest is tightening because of all these statements that these people are uttering. What is the tightening of a chest? It's actually something similar to an angina attack, subhanallah. But in the case of the Prophet وسلم, that's not it. But it was just the, the beginning of that tightening. Allah says, we know that it's tightening your chest. You desperately want to see them guided. What should you do? Three good reminders. Declare the greatness of Allah. Do the tasbih of Allah. Praise Allah. Remember Allah. And prostrate a lot. Pray a lot. Put your head on the ground for Allah a lot. You will find the comfort you're looking for. Pray a lot. Allah will protect you. And then Allah says the third thing is continue to worship Allah until death comes to you. Subhanallah. Continue to worship Allah until death comes to you. And you will see how Allah will open your doors.